Hello, Anselm Griffin here again, doing another MATLAB tutorial, and today we're doing template matching. And we'll have an example of the method we're going to use in a few minutes. The main thing today is we're using a function in MATLAB called normxcor2, N-O-R-M-X-C-O-R-R-2, that's the figure 2. Uh, before we do that, I just want to go to Excel and show you one or two things. Uh, this will be for those of you new to MATLAB. So we have, I created in MATLAB a test array here, and then I created another array, highlighted here, and over here, uh, starting in column S, is the result of the normalized correlation matrix, norm X core 2. So what I was trying to do was find the best position of this matrix, the one that's highlighted, here. And you can see here, if I just move this very slowly, that the best position is there. So, but I want to explain the dimensions. This matrix here is a 7x7. Seven seven. This matrix here is a 3x4. And the normalized correlation matrix starting in column S is a 9x10. So how did that happen? Well, let's go slowly here. We move this here. So we did a correlation ma matrix for that element. And what is the result? Well, that's in S5, and that's 0. What's the match for this one here? Well, it's 0. How do I know that? Because that's in column T5, etc. along that row. Now, if I do the match for here, what's the correlation matrix for that? It does. That's in S6, and that's 0. What's the correlation matrix for here? Well, that's in T6, and that's minus... 0.522. What is it for here? Well, that's in T7, and that's minus 0.775. So, if we just go back to here, now go down, that's row 1, column 1, that's in other words corresponding to S5, 2, 3, 4, and now we're in row 4, column 1, row 4, column 2, row 4, column 3, row 4, column 4, and row 4, column 5. And you can see there is an exact match there. Now, if we go to the normalized correlation matrix, that's over on the right-hand side of the screen as you look at it, and we go to row 4, column 5, and that is cell W8. I don't want to move my mouse at the moment, but if you look at cell W8, you see 1. So, in other words, there's a perfect match at that particular position. Okay, just leave that back there. So what's the size of the matrix here? It's 7x7, seven seven. this one, 7x7. Seven seven. What's the size of that one? 3x4. What's the size of the normalized correlation matrix? 9x10. So how do we end up with 9x10? Well, 7, 7, 9, 7, plus 3 is 10, minus 1 gives me 9, and over here, 7, how many rows do we have? 4. 7 plus 4 is 11, minus 1 is 10. So 7, slowing down again, the number of rows on the first one 7. The number of rows in the second one 3. 7 plus 3 is 10, minus 1 over here is 9. How many columns do we have in the first one? 7. How many columns do we have in the second one? 4. 7 plus 4 is 11, minus 1 is 10. Okay. So hopefully that will give you some vague idea if you're new to um, statistics and correlation coefficients and all of that. Okay, so let's go back now to my file here. So we're on the... Uh, I've published uh, the results of my editor file here, which I've done before, and I'm going to start looking at the program. So these commands here, I've cleared the workspace and I've cleared the screen. And I just mentioned these here. Uh, if you're new to normalized correlation coefficient, it would be no harm looking up the uh, the web link here. And there's another command that we're going to use uh, int to sub or index to sub, and the link is there as well. Okay. So let's start the program. We read in S, the letter S, and we read in the target image. So let's go down a bit. There's the letter S that we've read in. 
and there's the group of letters. So we want to find where does that S appear in the matrix that I'm running around here. Okay, just go back up a little bit. The size of the letter S is 38 by 52. The size of the array down here, the group of letters, is 240 by 270. So what will be the size of the matrix that I'm going the car the normalized cross correlation matrix? 240 plus 38 is uh, 278 less 1, 277. And what's the number of columns? Well, 270 plus 52 is 322, less 1 is 321. Okay, so we've read them in. Now, here's the killer command. I just highlight that. So, norm x car 2, letter is the, the, main, is the figure with s, and the group of letters is here. Okay, so I get my as I mentioned above, the size of the matrix is 277 by 321. And on this line here, so CC is my matrix. It's a 2 by 2 matrix of the normalized correlation coefficients. And what I've done on this line here is I've got the absolute value, which, and I've converted CC roundy brackets colon. I've converted two by two into a column matrix. Then what I do? I absolute value them, and then what I do? I got the max. Okay. So as we did before, the max value is one. The perfect match. The so in other words, we got a perfect match. And from, if you take your time here, the best match is row 163, column 204. So I just go down here. This is my normalized cross correlation matrix, okay? And the best match is a row 163, column 204. Now, what I have to do is I have to convert these values here back into the group of letters. There's a bit of maths going on here, uh, which, if you take your time, hopefully you'll be able to figure out. And then what I did was I used a command I am rect. I called up the original group of letters and I used I am rect to highlight the best match position. Hopefully uh, you get some idea of how it works. And if you're completely new to it, uh, it may be fairly difficult because of the cross correlation coefficient. So you might want to look some up some elementary uh, statistical tables. Just one thing further to mention as I go up the top here. Uh, I just highlight this one here. Uh, this is a brute, brute force method of matching. It's, there's no sophistication to it. Okay, computationally expensive. Uh, this method is no good if it's they're scaling our rotation or any sort of uh, geometric transformation at all. And that's all. So hopefully in the weeks to come, I'll be able to uh, work out a method of, first of all, doing template matching when there's um, a scaling factor, and then time permitting, I'll do scaling and rotation. Thank you.